Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. In today's video, our topic is factorization of quadratic expressions using a multiplication frame. So, consider the expression students. Expression is x square plus 8x plus 12. So, we have to find out the factors of this given expression. Here, three steps are given. Step number one, step number two, step number three. So one by one, we will we are going to follow these steps. So in step number one, what is the step number one? Write x square in the top left corner and twelve in the bottom right corner of the multiplication frame. So students, here. The expression is x square plus 8x plus 12. So we are going to write x square in the top left corner here. x square. And 12 in the bottom right corner of the multiplication frame. Here. So we are going to write 12 here. So this is our first step. So in second step, consider the factors of x square and 12, write them in the first column and the first row. So students, first of all I am going to write down x square and 12 here again, x square here in the top left corner and 12 in the bottom right corner, yes now students you have to think about the factors of x square so if we multiply x with x so we will get x square and we are we will write here x here the factor of x x square one factor is here and one factor is here now think about the factors of 12 so if we multiply 1 multiply by 12, we, the answer is 12. If we multiply 2 with 6, answer is 12. If we multiply 3 with 4, answer is 12. Now look at this middle term. This term, the coefficient of x is 8. So if we take this pair of numbers, so if we add or subtract these two numbers, so we will not get the answer 8. If we add 12 plus 1, 12 plus 1 answer is 13, but 13 is not here. If we subtract 1 from 12, so we will answer, we will get answer 11. 11 is not here. So if we take this pair, if we add 3 and 4, answer is 7, but 7 is not here. If we subtract 3 from 4, so answer is 1, 1 is not here. So that's why we will take this pair. So here you have to think two numbers. When we multiply these two numbers, the answer should be 12. And if we add or subtract these two numbers, the answer should be the coefficient of x. So this pair, we will select, select this pair and we will write 2 here and 6 here. So this is step number 2. Now in step number 3, multiply them to complete the multiplication frame and check whether the results matches the given expression. So first uh, we will shift these values here, x square here. 12 in the in this box and the factors of x square here x and another x is here and the factors of 12 2 multiplied by 6 2 here and 6 here now in this step we have to multiply the complete multiply them to complete the multiplication frame now multiply this two 
with x. So answer is what? 2x. Yes. Now multiply this x with 6. So answer is 6x. I'm going to erase this. Yes. So now check. Now check whether the results matches the given expression. Now add. Now add 2x plus 6x. Add 2x plus 6x. What is the answer? 2x plus 6x. 8x. Yes. So look at this expression, the value, the term. 8x. So 8x matches with this term. Okay. Now we can say say, say that students. Therefore, this expression x square plus 8x plus 12 is equal to x plus 2 into x plus 6. So students, in this way, we have find out the factors of this expression by using using a multiplication frame. Now we, we are going to solve an example. example. In example the expression is a square plus 9a plus 8. So let us apply this method multiplication frame method to factorize this expression. So in this expression the variable is the a so in step number one we we are going to write a square in the top left corner a square in the top left corner and eight this eight in the bottom right corner so this is our first step in the second step we have to consider the factors of a square and 8. So the factors of a square is equal to a multiplied by a and the factors of 8 are 1 into 8 and 2 fours are 8. So we have to select two numbers when we multiply these two numbers so answer, answer should be 8 and when we add or subtract these two numbers answer should be 9 that is the coefficient of a so we will select this pair 1 multiplied by 8 so in step number 2 we have to write down the factors of a square and 8 here a multiply by a with a square and the factors of 8 here 1 multiply by 8 1 here and 8 here so if we multiply a into a answer is a square if we multiply 1 into 8 answer is 8 now students in step 3 multiply them to complete the multiplication frame and check whether the results matches the given expression. Now multiply 1 with a. What is the answer? a. And 1 with 8. So answer is what? 8. Oh no, when we multiply a with 8, answer is 8a. So now check a plus 8a. What is the answer? 9a. So here is also 9a. So dear students, we have find the factors and therefore we can write a square plus 9a plus 8 is equal to 
a plus 1 into a plus 8. So these are the factors of this quadratic expression. Students, I hope that you have learned and enjoyed this video and you have learned a very interesting method to find out the factors of quadratic expression by using a multiplication frame. So thank you very much. We will meet in the next video. Take care.